Okay, so title is here. Okay, my name is Iman Tadayas. I'm a SEO specialist and I'm an internet marketer as well. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to write a blog post that actually get traffic. Yeah, so you are writing blog posts or you are paying someone to write your blog post, but if your blog post doesn't get traffic, that means you are gonna waste your time on or you are gonna lose your money, right? But the thing is, everybody get the first step wrong, right? Not everybody, but most of people, especially beginners. So first thing first, keyword research. So keyword research is the most important thing in your business. Imagine, just forget about uh, article writing right forget about forget about SEO forget about internal marketing everything let's say if you want to start a shoe business so you want to uh, sell shoes that means you need to find out okay what kind of shoes really are selling well or what are the shoe prices right and how many shops um, in your city right so there are things you need to check before you start your business right so that means the same thing so you need to do the research before you write your blog post so so uh, if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel I'm bringing you new videos about internet marketing SEO two three times per a week put a comment below if you have any questions or if you think uh, something about this video put a comment I will reply for all the comments Okay, anyway, so back to keyword research, it's the first thing, right? So keyword research is the main, main thing. Like I said before, you need to do it before, right? You need to understand what is the competition, uh, what are the websites ranking for these keywords, what are the keywords you want to target for. And if your website is new, that means your website has zero backlinks, right? And your website has zero authority right so your website is like a baby <laughs> right so you need to target for low searches everybody likes uh, get get a lot of traffic right so if there's a keyword which has 10,000 uh, searches for a month right everybody loves this right everybody loves this uh, keyword so when your website is new and when your website has zero backlinks and zero authority and when you jump into that keyword what's gonna happen right so your web your blog post not gonna do well for sure and the other thing is you are not getting any traffic right so this is why actually you type here how to write a blog post that actually get traffic Right, so you need traffic so do not do not I am I repeat do not target the bigger uh, searches at the beginning right so try to pick up the keywords from the bottom so that means you can go step by step so that's the secret key actually so when you build your authority from the beginning and then you are going to win Google's trust as well really soon right I have web websites even uh, I will put this video here as well I will put a card and this website didn't go through the sandbox because I was not going crazy I was not going crazy with bigger searches because um, I know what is happening <laughs> if I target the bigger searches so Try with the small searches. That's the whole, whole key. So I will. Uh, I'm using a cool um, tool to SEO. It is not expensive as well. I'm going to the screen and I show you how to do it from there. So uh, let's go to the screen. Okay, now I'm on one of my favorite SEO tools. It's really, really easy. I'm using this. Uh, since few months it's 
really effective. Let's say you want to write a blog post about Irish wolf hound. Okay, that is a uh, one dog breed. Okay, so there are so many <laughs> dog breeds. This particular dog breed is kind of expensive. So I have put these names as the seed keyword because I would like to write an article about this. And then this tool says exactly this 53 that says score, right? So competition is fairly difficult. So like I said, I told you the difficult, uh, the very, very important part is the keyword research. Keyword research is the main, main part. You need to know if this keyword people are searching or not, right? Or what kind of competition it has. So th that's what we are doing right here. So here, this is the first page search result on Google, right? So DA is domain authority, PA page authority, and there are other things, links and URL in the description, they have put a keyword or not, this stuff. So when you look at it, green is always good, better, okay? But here, everything, domain authority, is actually high, right? 83, 77, 98, 64, 37, 72, like this. And page authority is high as well. We are actually checking what kind of things people are searching about this topic, right? And here we have 700 keywords related to this, right? So this is a seed keyword. And uh, you can see 39, it's okay. And uh, when you go down, I have checked few keywords. Actually, I'm doing some research for a website, for a niche website. Let's say, don't know where is it. So there's one, it's high, another one high, another one not that high, okay. Mm -mm -mm. Where is that keyword? I was okay. You need to check, click on check, okay, and then the software checking the competition for you, right? Okay, I just found a diamond. <laughs> okay, this keyword, this one is really, really good. How much does an Irish wolfhound eat? It has 50 volume, okay, searches, and the keyword difficulty is so, so easy. So it's it says competition is very easy. So when you go to search, okay, so when you go to SERP result, you can see, like, there's one website, domain authority, yeah, that is Reddit, yeah, that means uh, it's a good sign. When you see user-generated content all the time, it's a good sign. That means the search is a little bit uh, weak because search doesn't have many related stuff, search results. That's why they are bringing user-generated content. So when you write a good piece of content, you can always outrank these websites so as an example Quora or Reddit or any forums okay and and everything is here it looks really really interesting you can right away write an article exactly this okay you can rank it and you will get traffic okay so now you will ask me okay why its volume is 50 but okay it's not much volume right but the thing is this is only one right this is only one keyword but there are many related keywords 
around this. So when you rank for one keyword, one main keyword, that means you are, your website, your newest blog post gonna rank for other related keywords as well. So those keywords bring more traffic as well, right? So that's the whole thing. That's why I said keyword research is the main, main thing. And uh, there's another cool thing in this software. You can click on ranking traffic, okay? Then it's checking for you. And then they are checking what kind of keywords this URL or this blog post also ranking, okay? So if I click on this, let's say, okay, I will click on this 37 keywords so now you can see okay it's kind of a main uh, it's not a related one let's say facts oh yeah this is you can definitely write <laughs> this is like a general uh, information it's not about exactly about um, about their eating right this one I actually see even this one if you click this you don't have to even click it you can see the URL it's ranking uh, it's talking about typical expenses but our blog post is how much does an Irish wolf hound eat right but they are not exactly targeting this one so if you have a niche website about animals or if you have only a website about about talking this exactly this dog breed okay this Irish wolf hound that means your websites definitely gonna rank definitely I'm pretty sure about it you need to prepare good content okay so let's Maybe click this one. Okay, it's, it's loading. Okay, it's a big. This is ah, come. On. Okay, I'm not gonna block it. I'm not gonna unblock this one. Okay, let's say this one. Feeding the Irish wolf. Wound. So this is why this blog post is ranking. Okay. But the thing is this website looks like really, really amateur type. And this website only talking about this uh, exact dog breed that's why it's ranking that's what i said so it's really really niche specific okay okay i have to uh, jump into the video because i just mentioned and then i just gave a big tip so when you make your website when you write your blog post whatever you are talking about try to be in a one niche when you talk about something something specific okay so let's say your website it's about this dog breed and you have 100 articles and when someone search on google and when your website talk about only this dog breed google gives you a lot of authority so it's a big secret it's a big thing i i really have to tell you guys I was thinking should I really tell you this stuff but I believe when you really give good things to the world and you will get good things and it's a great feeling as well. So use that secret to build a lot of authority. Do not go uh, like crazy about all the topics and do not talk about and uh, all the animals in the planet, right? Talk about something specific, okay? And uh, yeah, so use this as a big tip so i imagine your website is pretty much new 
so you have zero authority that means you need to build your authority so start from the bottom all the time do not do not <laughs> target or don't write a blog post about 10,000 searches for a month when your website is really new and has no authority okay because you are going to waste your time but when you do this like small searches and then your websites going to appear on search that means you are going to win Google's trust and then authority goes up and your ranking also going up so that means you are going to get more traffic that's how actually I do it I mean I think other other all the SEOs are doing the same but do not go and crazy about and bigger searches and write blog post okay so keyword research is the really the key right and then what you can do is so as an example I will click this one all the content I will select all the content and then copy and this is a, one of the coolest plugin count these words okay you can see there are 1800 words right so if you can write a blog post about everything there are no this one actually it's really amateur stuff because you don't see any links nothing right there is no call to action right there are no any links at all right but the good thing is if you have a good plan if you are writing about this specific dog breed definitely you're gonna outrank a lot of websites even you can plan uh, a good silo right you can have a category for only eating this is the main part like I said this is the first step to check okay what are the topics I can write so I think you are here because pretty sure because your website has no authority and your website doesn't get much traffic right so if you have a big authority website I don't think you are searching on Google how to write a blog post uh, that actually get traffic right I don't think so because you would like to learn and your website is I think new or your website is not ranking for anything but the thing is with this strategy you can target small searches mentioned this few times and then you can go for the bigger keyword okay so now you did the keyword research so do the keyword research before you write your blog post if you need traffic to your blog post you need to do your keyword research because you want to know what kind of keywords are competitive and what kind of keywords are less competitive right especially if your website is new you need to really go with uh, low or less competitive keywords for sure so now we are doing the title and the content part okay so uh, let's go to the screen back and I'll show you what is a good title and how many content we need to generate and all the other details I just go to Google and search our keyword so the other thing is if you don't know what is is what is uh, this bar is this is called the most bar which is free you can just register for a free account and you can install it at this moment until now I don't know what I'm gonna happen tomorrow at this moment that is free which is actually great okay so you can see all these titles and our keyword is how much does an Irish wolfhound eat so always think as a person who are looking for this answer right if you have a wolf wound or if you if someone who like to know about wolf wound 
so how much they are eating so that is the person right we are targeting so when we are writing the title our title has to be a catchy one has to be a good one because that's the first thing they read right let's imagine your website is here okay this is your website it's ranking for this article so if you don't have a good title it will be only like bouncing here to there and you know it's good maybe it's go. it will go back to second page and come back here something like this but the good part is if you have a good title your ranking will go to the top that is uh, what we call click through rate right CTR because when you have a good title people click your title and then Google see it and Google loves what users uh, like right so they always like to bring what users like right so let's say you can write kind of I will just give you an idea so how much does an Irish wolf own eat right maybe you can write about you know the all the full guide about Irish wolf hound eat and the step by step um, to feed your Irish wolf hound eat something like this but you need to uh, include this keyword that's the first thing right you need to come up with a good title always think as the visitor okay then it is easier what they like you know we actually we like easy and uh, free and the step uh, step by step guide or the numbers let's say let's say 21 tips about something you know these are the things we like to click you know and the second thing is the content length for that what you have to do is you need to open these websites okay open this website okay that's a good that's a big content right there how long they live okay it's not exactly how much and what they eat okay it's only about the general article about wolf food it's not exactly about what they're eating or how much they're eating you know this kind of stuff and the second one okay second one is this okay that is reddit the good thing is you can i mean i'm pretty sure that you don't have a wolf phone uh, dog right but you would like to write an article or you have a niche website about them so i don't know what is your website so the same exact uh, process uh, applying to your website okay and you can get a lot of ideas about from this uh, from this user generated content this is what i mentioned and go each website and check how much content they have right and then write about let's say they have 1000 content 1000 words or 1500 come up with the same amount right or a little bit more and uh, you can go through this stuff and then you can check and also let's go to key search again so there are keywords related to this okay so do not forget include those keywords into your articles as well other thing is make some inner links right backlinks I'm talking about the backlinks uh, within your content always link to other articles I mean when it is like when it uh, makes sense okay just do not link uh, to everywhere right like crazy 
but if you have few links to go uh, to other your blog post when it is relevant it's always a good sign okay and the other thing is uh, so when you write your blog post write a good description you can write a good description include these keywords keyword as well and uh, always remember the other the last tip uh, what i'm giving you always remember you are writing uh, not for google okay you are always always writing for human okay because you need to correct your grammar you need to uh, paragraph uh, you need to so like this so there are paragraph uh, breaks right do not include everything like junk of uh, text in one big block okay do not don't do that because you want to keep the visitor in your blog article okay and the other thing is always trying to I was I told you that this that was the last step okay I'll give another tip always give the answer in the first paragraph give the answer do not talk about and everything uh, about the wall phone and end of the article give the answer don't do that because people bounce and when people bounce from your blog article so Google knows that right that means your website your blog post ranking going to drop right doesn't happen in like really really fast but google noticed that when google noticed that and google put your blog article down in the search okay so i hope you like the video and i also hope that you learn something and uh, go and buy this tool it's a good one actually it is i i love this tool it's not that expensive as well i have other tools but i like this tool because it's so easy i like this interface as well right actually the link is my affiliate link of course and i have to say that and uh, when you use my link so please use my link uh, when you use my link i will get a small commission and uh, these small commissions uh, help me to do more videos and bring you more value every week. So my plan is to at least to make two, three videos for uh, one week, right? So subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up as well. And if you have a question or if you have any idea about this video, you can uh, comment below as well. So, uh, so that's it. So see you in the next video.